about our suffering, my dear. There's not enough scotch in the world for that one. <laughs> Shirley, what are you writing now? A little novella. I'm calling none of your goddamn business. <laughs> well, you were invited to stay here for a few days until we can find a place. Shirley has these bouts. She's gone sick in the head. I read your story. What are you doing in here? It made me feel thrillingly horrible. Do you know what it's like to have a secret? What are you up to? That girl, what do you think? Trite and a bit trashy, but uh, yeah, give it a go. I like you, Rosie. Can I trust you? I feel like we're in the Scottish play. On the verge of madness. What will happen? I can see their secret looks. Freud would have had a field day. I'm counting down from three. Three, two, one. What becomes of your dear heroine? What happens to all lost girls? They go mad. I like your tattoos. What are those numbers on your arm? Oh, that's uh, the date my dad died. He was a fireman. Died in a fire 17 years ago. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Don't be, it's fine. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not your dad. <laughs> You can't focus on Scott anymore, honey. He's 24 years old, Marjorie. Let that fucking bird fly, please. Don't worry, Mom. I know your daughter got smart and went to college and abandoned us. But I'm still here. I'm gonna be here forever. Yeah. People told me slow my road. I wanna become a real tattoo artist. Your work is mad inconsistent. Obama ain't right. Oh, I love your tattoos. This is my favorite. <laughs> I've been dating someone for a little while now. The first guy you date in 17 years is a fireman just like that? You don't think that's weird? You're gonna have to pull your weight a little more around here. Maybe help Ray get his kids to school. Kelly, do you know him? He's a new friend. You okay? You know, you could tell me. I'm okay. Oh, I trained her in the car. She's not gonna break. You ever think about putting on the jacket? Why would you even ask me that? What's wrong with being a fireman? It's fine if you don't have kids, because you don't know if you're going to come home or not, and then your kids are fucked up. You make everyone around you feel crazy. People are normal, then they hang out with you, and then they're fucking Jack Nicholson in The Shining or something. I gotta tell my mom you tried to drown me. To the above ground pool, you're like fucking eight feet tall. And let me tell you something, your dad was a hero. And heroes are necessary. And they should be allowed to have families. <laughs> shit together. Time is passing by very quickly. Why do you think I smoke weed all the time? So I can slow it down. I just feel like everybody's always disappointed in me and I never live up to anybody's expectations. Hey, thanks for listening to all this. You're one of the few people who treat me, you know, like a person. You're welcome. All right, fellas, let's do this. My name's Danny Trejo. You might have seen me once in a while. Desperado, Heat. Dust till dawn. Con Air. Machete. They make movies and stories about guys like Danny. Danny is that guy. Danny was in a high-stakes world from a very young age. Addicted to heroin since he was 12. He was just a kid, caught up in the game. I had a sawed-off shotgun and a hand grenade. I buried him, and I told my mom, be real careful in the backyard. <laughs> this is a guy who's seen death just to get to 16 years old. It's like the Wild West. You're gonna be a criminal. Be a criminal 24 hours a day. Wow. His name rang through every prison. They knew he was coming. They always knew he was coming. 
I'm gonna be top predator no matter what. It's clear they're gonna kill me. I made a promise to myself, start trying to do good. I became a drug counselor. An opportunity to help somebody one night got him into his first movie. My career took off immediately. The first five years, I just played inmate number one. Cholo number one. Essay number one. Number 10. Eddie Bunker, screenwriter, goes, you're Danny Trejo. This is one of the movies that people are afraid of you. I wanted to say, why me? <laughs> Quinn and I were coming up with a bunch of fake trailers. I said, I got a fake trailer. It's machete. It changed the paradigm of who could be a leading man. Everything good that has happened to me has happened as a direct result of helping someone else. Everything. It's the idea that I can evolve. That's Danny's life. You've come from Ethiopia. Where were you born? When I was seven years old, my parents took me to a Sufi shrine. They left me there. And they never came back. The Refugee Referral Agency will arrange for long-term housing. When will she be back? She won't. I didn't know that. Then you have a lot to learn. Must be nice to have this place all to yourself. I didn't ask for it. You didn't have to. When we come together, we tell each other our stories. I don't have much to tell. Do you know this man? Who is this doctor to you? Come away with me. Just to say yes. Yes. The house is being watched. If I'm taken, they might come for you next. I promise I will come find you. The soldiers beat him until he was broken. Your husband is alive, Amina. He won't be able to look at me. Doing excellent work. Yes. That was meant to be a compliment. How do we find each other? The Ethiopian Family Reunification Association. But there's no such thing. Well, there is now. We can do this together. I need to know you are somewhere safe. Your heart and my heart are very old friends. You are full of surprises, English girl. Check on the house. What happened in the window? You should be careful. Why? There are people out there that'll take advantage of you if you let them. Why would I let them? You should be careful. She's not who you think she is. You're hurting me! Don't do anything stupid. What's wrong with you? What are you doing? So you're supposed to be watching me? I could burn this whole fucking house down. One, two, three. Did you ever come close to home? <laughs>
my heart. I've never broken one single heart. I'll ask you this. I'm trying to put some money together to get a bed in a shelter. I only got 50. 50? That's too much. I can't. Can split it? Uh, no, no, no. 50 is okay. If I give you 50, you have to do something for me. Is this a style? I was going for rat's tails. You look like a different person. What have you done with my daughter? I killed her. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> what are you doing here? What are you doing here? You make a habit of befriending girls that are significantly younger than yourself. Oh, my God! Mila's obsessed with that boy. She's a smart girl. Mila? That boy has problems! So do I! What are you looking at? Piss off. Oh, God. I lost my hair. It looks cool. It's, like, way better than the one that I gave you. No. <laughs> I'll do anything. Can he please stay? Mila, he threatened me with a meat prong. You threatened my wife with a meat prong? <laughs> I don't want to hurt you. So don't. Moses! Wait, Henry, Henry! Mila should have the world at her feet right now. I have no idea what you're feeling. I can't feel anything because I can't breathe because you take up all the air. I think something in you has changed. It was like you weren't scared of anything. I don't think the world would be this big or weird if we become obsessed with functionality. She's gonna be okay. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> this is the worst possible parenting I can imagine. Good morning, everybody. My name is Dr. Miami. I'm a plastic surgeon, and I make people feel better about their bodies. Watch me as I snapshot my way through Monday. <laughs> we started making videos on YouTube, and my daughter said, Dad, why don't you try Snapchat? It spread like, a, like virally. Within a year, we had a million viewers, two million viewers every day. I'm the truth surgeon in the OR. Create the baddest pictures you've seen by far. Rick Ross, Snoop Dogg. Two chains, huge artists in hip hop and pop culture, when they're looking to explain plastic surgery in a lyric, they don't say plastic surgery, they say Dr. Miami. That's really cool. Dr. Miami, cut me up, make me so freaking flawless. Welcome back to the afternoon room. We have a Brazilian butt lift tummy tuck combination procedure for you today. Women as young as 16 are mutilating their bodies to try and fit with this narrow definition of what it is to be sexy. I have been wanting a butt for years. Boobs, lips, butt, blonde hair. Big, round booty, both in projection and width. Did you take the garbage off? Yes, I did. I think he's vain. And I think part of the vanity comes from self-esteem. I look so young. I look like a fetus. There's a problem when the entertainment becomes the most important thing. If I saw a pilot of a commercial airline dancing around the cockpit, I probably wouldn't get on that airline. This stuff is inappropriate. The only legitimate criticism is if it affects patient care. Anything else, it's not their taste. <laughs> He's a religious Jew, and he has very strong values. That's who he really is. If God commands you to, to change the body, OK, you change the body. God made us. Our bodies, they're not even ours, they're his. What weighs on me more than anything is the idea that something catastrophic could happen. We believe that plastic surgery empowers and transforms lives. This is where God put me, you know, in this place at this time. Arash, check the oxygen tank. Arash, check the oxygen tank. No one's ever died here. Don't break my streak, okay? Breathe for me, honey. Depuis quand, dis-moi, ta sexualité est devenue une activité extra conjugale? C'est la loi des couples qui dure. Personne n'y échappe. Sauf que moi, je t'ai jamais trompé en 25 ans. Richard! Richard!
train de dire que je désapprouve totalement ton attitude. C'est dégueulasse ce que tu es en train de me faire. Mais Richard, comment tu peux être aussi jeune Je suis en train de perdre ma tête. À quel moment tu m'as prévenu que tu te comporté aussi seulement une fois de vieille Je suis fou d'inquiétude, là, tu t'en rends compte Pourquoi avoir réveillé le passé Maria. C'est qui Richard vous a jamais parlé de sa professeure de piano Et si vous décidiez de me rendre ce livre, vous m'avez pris Richard Richard, on peut pas, Richard Alors, petit résumé de votre situation. Vous venez de pousser dans les bras de votre vieux mari son amour de jeunesse, et vous, vous en profitez pour coucher avec ce même mari, mais à l'âge qu'il avait lorsque vous l'avez rencontré. Parce que je m'autorise une fois un écart. Maria, nous avons la liste de tous vos écarts. Pour ça, vous avez la liste alors qui est qui déjà Pierre, le cousin. Mais qui couche encore avec ses cousins après 14 ans Bah tout le monde, hein. T'es dans la chambre 212, ça évoque rien pour toi Article 212 du Code civil. Les époux se doivent mutuellement respect, fidélité, secours, assistance. Et madame est professeure en fac de droit. C'est ce que tu veux vraiment With today's technology, we should be able to hear another person's thoughts. It would be better if we had a human. Henry's human enough for me. Three, two, one. Have been a power outage last night. When Oliver makes an incredible discovery, make way for the total package brains, personality, and good looks. Things will never be the same. It worked, Henry. Uh, I can hear what you're thinking. <sighs> you can hear what I'm thinking. Woo! You taste like a genius. So, all dogs can understand all humans. Duh, but you can't tell anybody. That's checkmate, sucker. Are you talking to the dog? Nick Snay on the Hawking Tay. The science fair is big for you. Good luck at the fair. Now he must make sure his new invention, this kid is special, doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Oh my god, it works. He did it. I would do anything to acquire this technology. I fear for Oliver's safety. Let us out! Let us out right now! Sit. You sure you're not hungry? Wait, what? No one said there'd be snacks. They've got adventure. My human is in trouble and I need your help. Oh, didn't know you were having an awesome party. Down to a science. We are going to save Oliver. <laughs> Gabriel Bateman, Kunal Mayer, with Megan Fox and Josh Demel. We make a good team, Henry. Think like a dog. How'd you get so smart, Henry? He smells as many butts as I have. You tend to pick up a few things. <laughs> <laughs>